Cream Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Mozambique President Philippe Nyusi inaugurated the 120 megawatt gigawatt park gas fired power station in Rosano Garcia, Mozambique last month. And Ian Killian has the story. The project, which took 18 months to complete, was developed by South African investment group and majority shareholder in the project Gigajoule International. CEO Johanda Foss told Engineering News Online that the plant had an installed capacity of about 120 megawatts. The plant's 13 generators of 9.3 megawatts each were manufactured by multinational corporation ABB and powered by Rolls-Royce engines. Financial close on this project was reached in uh, June 2014 and we completed it on 10 December 2015, so construction period of 18 months. The president of Mozambique today is inaugurating the 120 megawatt uh, power station built by Gigawatt Mozambique. The concession that was awarded to Gigawatt here in Rosano Garcia is for 350 megawatt. We've now secured additional gas to increase it uh, another 40 megawatt and that power purchase agreement is being negotiated with EDM, our customer right now. The electricity generated by the power station was supplied to power utility Electricidad de Mozambique under a long-term power purchase agreement both for use within Mozambique as well as for sale to the regional Southern African Power Pool Network. The capacity of this power station represents about 24% of the needs of Southern Mozambique, excluding that of the Moselle Aluminium Smelter. This was a noteworthy contribution to reducing the country's energy deficit. Matola Gas Company supplied the natural gas to power the Gigawatt Park plant from a pipeline that branched off the main pipeline from Panad, Mozambique to South Africa. About $200 million was invested in developing the project. The turnkey contract was implemented by a consortium comprising engineering firms WBHO and PB Power and solar thermal power company TSK as the main subcontractor. Since there was insufficient gas available to sustain a long-term contract of this order of magnitude, Gigawatt subcontracted a Greco to produce energy using power stations that can be dismantled to satisfy short-term commercial agreements of between two and four years. Gigawatt remained committed to seeking better paths for expanding the capacity of the power station until it reached what was set out in its concession license. Meanwhile, DeFoss noted that Gigawatt had worked hard to implement various corporate social investment projects in the area. First thing we did was starting a refuse removal program, yeah? And you see all over the Sano Garcia the rubbish bins that we installed. We installed uh, some tractors and trailers and assisted them to start a proper cleaning of, of the town. The second thing is we started a, a community radio station and we started painting the clinic and just uplifting the town. And we've now assisted the chef de poste with a full development plan uh, for the San Garcia. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.